Hey, hey everybody, I hope you're well. Today we are going to be doing another review. It's a little bit of a sad review because um, with the passing of Max Maven, uh, aka I think it's Phil Goldstein, I'm not sure if it's Goldstein or Goldstein, I'm not 100% sure. I've always known him as Max Maven. Uh, that's how I first saw him on the Paul Daniels Magic Show and obviously in my little journey of magic and stuff, his name would pop up quite a bit actually. Um, so. Uh, the day before he died, again, this story I have told, um, I ordered up B-Wave. And then the day after, it turned out he'd actually passed on. So this review is in memory of Max Maven. Um, from all the information, I've never met the guy personally. I've never had any correspondence with him, which is a bit of a shame. I would have loved to have chatted to the guy because, uh, yeah, he was the mentalist's mentalist, basically. Um, he had loads of great books, effects, a show brilliant guy had a fantastic character and i think he played that character well all the time and i think the max maven is the film <laughs> basically so uh the wave now some people um will call it b wave uh, according to the instruction video that was done i think it was done through penwing magic i'm not 100 sure um i'll get into the video a bit later there's some, there's some nice bits in there um he is pronounced the wave as in, you are a Bwave person. So yeah, so, uh, but Bwave is obviously the, uh, from the concept of the Brainwave deck. And now Phil does actually give you a bit of history. And this packet effect is quite an old effect. I think it's over 35 years old. Um, I think when he first came up with it, they, he talks about how the Brainwave deck came up, some of the, how some of the greats and that got in there and changed things around. And, uh, Again, as we know, uh, Max Maven bought out the wave, which was a very effective mentalist packet trick. From what I've heard, I don't know if this is true, I'm only going on what's hearsay, is that he was a big fan of packet tricks. So um, anything I think he could take as a packet trick and turn it into a little nugget of men mentalism was very good. So I got the wave, I think this is the deluxe version, which I think is the only version that's available. Uh, it does come with 16 uh playing cards yeah 16 of them i'm just going to show you the backs because uh there are some gimmick cards here it does use one gimmick card uh which is actually quite clever and uh you do have options for displaying the cards as blank as the boom boom i call it the boom 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 method it's boom 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 it's a free phase routine uh well free kicker endings uh they do send you some of the uh, jokers which are making me laugh because there was a reference to these jokers on the video and bless max um he tells it like it is bless him and of course you do get your gimmick cards which will allow you to to um create your moment of mentalism uh you're giving kings queens and jacks and you're given an extra queen as well I think, yeah, they're both red backs. Yeah, they come in different color backs because obviously this is a color back changing routine. So basically the wave is simple. Um, in the demonstration video that Max does, he sets it out. He's got his set of four cards actually set horizontally on the table. And then he goes into his uh, performance. And basically by using a combination of a gaff card and a bit of evoque or evoque, evoque, the ability to change your words on the fly and direct the outcome obviously there's a bit of a force here as you would guess but you're doing it with words rather than a riffle force which i think is really good um it is a lovely fit for those of you who've seen my uh cracker cards uh by steve Della, very similar premise but different working though not overly different but different enough um with this one while he says you can do it in the hand to this one this one to me screams table presentation you know doing it on the table will work a lot better for you you can do it in the hand uh, and he does actually demonstrate this as well and you know, it can be done using the spectacle hand as a mini table but personally i would do this at a table or maybe if you're a walk around magician and you want to do this uh maybe on those little tiny uh mats that you can use for putting stuff i think some of the guys i used to, know, used to use mouse mats they made a perfect little perfect little tabletop you know to put on the table so you don't know, beer or stuff on it as well these are made from bicycle stock by the way so if they do get wet um i think yeah you also do get a link on the card to the actual video as well the video is 25 minutes long and you know again uh, it's really it's actually really enjoyable to watch max does strike me and i wish i'd got into his stuff a lot lot sooner as a bloody good teacher and he goes into all the ins and outs of the ever k card handling 
you know, using your spectators as well. And there's a lot of gold on this. Uh, I think for a 25 minute download, I learned a huge amount. And I'm not just saying that because of this, the way this review is, I'm being truthful. If it was rubbish, I'd still say it's rubbish, but it's not, it's Max Maven. So yeah, uh, so the teaching's very good. And it's um, that perfect little trick that you can carry around with you. I wouldn't do it as an opener. If I was gonna do this style of trick, I would use cracker cards because it's boom, boom. But on this one, the fact that you literally get them to choose queens, jacks, kings, though with the ever K you do immediately say that they are the queens. And you know, I have this lovely thing where he does almost, it's not comedy, but it comes across as he talks and says, that's right. And as, he, as she says the answers, he's like turning to his audience, the other guys and saying, she's right, you know, doing it like surprise, which again is key of mentalism in acting. I know people keep saying that, but you know, it is a boom, it's their card, the queen of say clubs or queen of hearts, we can do the kings and jacks if you want to, if you don't want to use the queens. Then it's boom, you take the card out and display it and show that it has a different colored back. And then it's the other cards are turned over and it's blank, blank, blank. So it is boom, boom, boom. But I think of it more as boom, 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 boom. You know, tempo, timing, that sort of stuff. So yeah, a fantastic effect. I really do like this. This actually appeals to my style, which is maybe using cards, but not a huge amount. Again, for walk around, you can do it, but this really needs to be done at a table with several spectators, basically. But uh, if you want to do a an intro version or something to actually get the party started, then obviously Steve Della's Cracker Cards, definitely recommend those because they are boom, boom. But uh, I wouldn't do those two effects together in the same set. So if you are performing, I wouldn't do uh, cracker cards and then do the wave <laughs> so uh, yeah now also in the in the video file there's a little bit of history about where the effect came from how it came to be uh, a lot of references to other magicians which is really nice to see and i know what you guys are thinking come on gareth you've been blabbing on enough what's this about the jokers in the actual video when he talks about the kit now obviously he's had a, i think he's had a disagreement with the producers and maybe even penguin magic and he says to take the jokers and throw them away. <laughs> he says, or use them in another effect. He feels this isn't strong. He says it's okay, but it's not strong. He feels the blank cards, because they're something you don't see every day, are a little bit more hard hitting. And if you think about it, yeah, people see jokers all the time. But to see a blank card is not all that in card, mate. It's sort of sometimes it can be used, but I think a lot of people have said, yeah, um, I think for him, he prefers his version. And again, I think he talks about things like Twisted Sisters and other effects. And, and he still believes that his version is the best, which why not? Bless him. It's a really good effect. It's worth learning. Whether your card, mentalism, definitely want to go out there, get and learn. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this review. And a big thank you to, of course, Dr. David Goldman, who has helped sponsor these videos. Um, there will be a link below. Please go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Show your support and love to the guy because he's awesome. Also, shout out to um, Chris as well, who's just done a review video and uh, his cat makes an appearance. More cat in the video, mate. You should have more cats in the video. Makes it more fun. But then, then guys, I'm going to crack on with the other reviews I've got to do and I will catch you all on the next review. So until then, blessings. And again, uh, you know, my condolences. And that goes out to Max Maven's family or Phil Goldstein, Goldstein. Um, you know, it is a sad loss. And, uh, you know, but unfortunately this happens. But he has left, let's be honest, Max Maven has, has left us with a legacy. Let's be honest. And let's use it wisely. Okay, guys, I really am out of here. I am turning off that camera. Ooh, I'll catch you later.